Hello, students. Today, we're going to learn about a wonderful program called Young Champions. To help us do that, welcome my friend, Mr. Tornquist. Thank you, Mr. Doms. Hello, Mentone Elementary School. I am very excited to be here with you today. Young Champions is a really cool partnership between two different groups, Special Olympics Indiana and a group called ICASE. That stands for the Indiana Council of Administrators of Special Education. And these two groups are doing everything they can to make sure that every student here at Mentone Elementary School feels included. We're going to talk more about that in a few minutes. But first, I would like to play a game that I have played with students all over America. The name of the game is That's Me. I'm going to read a sentence. If the sentence describes you, I just want you to raise your hand and yell, that's me, and put your hand back down again. All right? So it's, that's me, hand back down. Here we go. I am into sports. I stink at sports. Me too. I am the oldest child. I am the youngest child. I am the favorite child. Good for you. I can play a musical instrument. I love to sing. When I sing, people run. Sorry to hear that. I have lived in Indiana my entire life. I have visited more than three other states. I have traveled to Walmart. Okay, you are way too excited about that. I like to read. I like to draw. I like to eat ice cream and watch Netflix. My people. I love video games. I would rather play video games than take a shower. Okay, that's not good. I have a dog. I have a cat. I have a farm animal. I have a brother who smells like a farm animal. And finally, I am proud to attend a young champion school. Very good. Give yourself a round of applause. One way that a school can show that it is inclusive is by earning a thing we call the Unified Champion School Banner. To do that in Indiana, a school must do four things. We call these pillars. Mr. Doms, can you please tell us what is pillar number one? Pillar number one is inclusive student leadership. That's right. Inclusive student leadership. Why inclusive student leadership? Well, when you do something for someone, that's really nice. But when you do something with someone, it empowers that individual and it changes the way they look at themselves and the rest of our world. Right now, I have an inclusive song, which means each one of you is invited to join me in the song. But in order to do this, I got to take off my headphones and head over to another part of the studio. Be right back. <laughs> Young Champions is all about fun, fitness, and friends. And right now, I have a song that's fun, it's really good exercise, and we're going to do it with our friends. I need everyone right now, if you're able, to stand up right where you are. Okay, this song has two moves in it. When I say at ease, I need you to bend down and put your hands on your knees, just like you're playing second base, like this here, all right? When I say tan hut, I need everyone to stand and salute. At ease. Tan hut. Very good. Relax. Now, the name of this song is called My Bonnie. It has all kinds of words in it that begin with the letter B. We're going to start the song at ease. And the first time a word comes along that begins with the letter B, we're going to stand and salute. 
The next time a word comes along that starts with the letter B, we're going to be at ease. So we're going to be up and down on words that begin with the letter B. Now, I have to warn you, this song starts off nice and slowly. It does not finish nice and slowly. So everybody catch your breath. Everybody at ease. All right, are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my body to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. You're getting the hang of it. That's good, because we're going to pick up the pace now. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my body to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. We're not done yet. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my body to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. Very good job. Give yourself a round of applause. You may be seated. I'll meet you back over at my desk. All right, Mr. Doms, what is pillar number two? Pillar number two is whole school engagement. Whole school engagement. That means we want every student and every staff member here at this great school to join the inclusion revolution. And when a school is truly unified, it often looks like this. Disability. It's about all kinds of moments when you can choose to include on the bus, in the cab, in the hall, in classrooms. There will be moments when you look across the room and you'll see someone isolated, someone left out, someone lonely, someone challenged, someone made fun of, someone humiliated, someone not included. And the question you will face is will you choose to include that person or will you move on? Thank you, Mr. Schreiber. One whole school engagement opportunity we have is by participating in a program we call Read Like a Young Champion. This is a series of YouTube videos I produced, which feature some beautiful books about kindness and inclusion. Right now, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite books, and it's entitled Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, 
say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible. That really hurts. I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Peace. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it And you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others. But everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? Mr. Doms, you have been very patient. Can you please tell us what is pillar number three? Pillar number three is unified sports. Unified sports. That's when you take students with disabilities, students without disabilities, and you put them together on the same team. And when you do that, something magical happens. It just becomes one big group of students competing 
and having so much fun. And students all over Indiana are proving that any activity can be unified, even robotics. Check this out. I love it. You know, inclusion is a choice. And right now, I choose to include each one of you in another game. The name of the game is called Would You Rather? And this game is all about choices. I'm going to give you two options. If you prefer option number one, hold up one finger. If you prefer option number two, hold up two fingers. Then check out your classmates to see who you agree with. All right, here we go. Would you rather one, eat a spider? Or two, find a snake under your pillow. Very good. All right, here's another one. Would you rather one, sit next to someone who talks too loudly? Hey there, how you doing? Or two, sit next to someone who is constantly staring at you. All right, here's another one. Would you rather one, yell, not it, every time someone calls you by name, or two, do the dab every time someone calls you by name? All right, here's another one. Would you rather one, have an elephant-sized cat, or two, have a cat-sized elephant? Would you rather one, have an elephant-sized cat, or two, have a cat-sized elephant? And finally, would you rather one, have hiccups for an entire day, <laughs> or two, wink at every person you see for an entire day? All right, if you said number two, look at someone sitting near you and give them a little wink. And the rest of you, give yourself a round of applause. Great job. Okay, Mr. Doms, we've come to our final pillar. What is pillar number four? Pillar number four is fundraising fundraising. The goal is to raise at least $250 for Special Olympics Indiana to help us promote unified sports all over this great state. You know, when I think about a school being unified, it makes me happy. And when I'm happy, you know what I like to do? I like to sing, which brings us to our final inclusive activity. I've saved my favorite song till the end. I'll meet you at my singing spot. This last song is kind of a follow the leader type of song. So I need everyone, if you're able to stand up right where you are, and I'm going to do something that I want you to do it, that I'm going to change what I'm doing. And I want you to change what you're doing. Most of all, however, I want you to be silly and I want you to have fun. Here we go. Get ready. Repeat after me. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta. Ta ta, your turn. Thumbs up. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta, your turn. Thumbs 
up, elbows back. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Your turn. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up, elbows back. Feet apart. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Your turn. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, knees together, knees together. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Your turn. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up, elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, knees together, knees together. Bottoms up, bottoms up. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Your turn. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Feet apart. Feet apart. Knees together. Knees together. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Tongue out. Tongue out. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Your turn. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up. Elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, feet apart, knees together, knees together, bottoms up, bottoms up, tongue out, tongue out, eyes shut, eyes shut. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Your turn. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows back, elbows back, feet apart, feet apart, knees together, knees together, bottoms up. Tongue out, eyes shut, turn around. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. One more. A tooty ta, a tooty ta, a tooty ta ta. Give yourself a round of applause. Very good. You may be seated. I'll meet you back at the desk. Mentone Elementary School, I'd like to finish our time together today by sharing with you a story about a starfish. But it's not a day that looks like this. It's a day that looks like this. Thousands of starfish for as far as the eye can see. Well, on this day, an old guy kind of like me was walking along the beach and he sees off in the distance a young person just like you. And the young person is doing something that's kind of confusing to the old guy. He sees the young person bend down, pick something up, throw it in the water, bend back down, pick something up, throw it in the water over and over again. Well, finally, the curiosity gets the best of the old man. He approaches the student and says, excuse me, I don't mean to bother you, but I have a question. What are you doing? And the young person said, well, sir, there was a horrible storm that came in last night and washed all these starfish up on the beach. And I don't know if you realize this or not, but if these starfish don't get back in the water, they're going to die. So I'm out here just trying to make a difference. Well, the old man laughed. You got to be kidding me. Look at this beach. There are thousands of starfish out here. Kid, you will never make a difference. Well, just then the student bent down picked up another starfish and held it up for the man to see. And the student said, sir, I'm going to make a difference to this one and threw it back in the water. When you choose to include another person in your circle of friends, you have changed that student's day and you have changed our world. And now with the final thought, I'd like to turn it back over to the man of the hour, the tower of power too sweet to be sour, your principal, Mr. Doms, Mr. Doms, Take it away. You know, students, I hope that as you've been at Mentone Elementary School, you've learned the importance of kindness, being kind to each other and being kind to others. You know, it doesn't cost anything to, to be kind. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It, it just takes a little bit of a heart of, of looking at someone else and, and trying to help them. So please remember in your life, don't ever forget to be kind. <laughs>